Good day everyone, I am John Paul Alicia and I will going to discuss about rocket propellant. Rocket propellant is a reaction mass of a rocket. This reaction mass is ejected at the highest achievable velocity from a rocket engine to produce thrust. A fuel is a substance that can burn in the presence of oxygen, while oxidizer is a source of oxygen, and propellant is the combination of fuel and oxidizer. Propellant are classified according to their state, liquid, solid, or hybrid. In liquid rocket propellants, the fuel and oxidizer are stored in the separate tanks. So the rocket propellants are in the forms of solid materials and its propellant is a mixture of two components which is oxidizer and fuel. Hybrid rocket propellants is a combination of solid and liquid propellants engines. How rocket engines operate? Rockets work because every action has an equal and opposite reaction. In order for the rocket to rush forward, something has to rush backwards. That thing is the propellant. The propellant is a material that spew out of the back of the spacecraft giving it thrust or a push forward. Rocket thrust. Thrust is a force which moves the rocket through the air and through space. Thrust is generated by the propulsion system of the rocket through the application of Newton's third law of motion. Rocket principle. Rockets generate large amount of high pressure combustion, combustion gas in their engines and to burn fuel in space where no air exists, an oxidizer is necessary. Ammonium perchlorate is an explosive agent used as a component of fireworks, rat, rockets, propellants, etc. It is also used in oxidizing, engraving, or etching compounds, and as a reagent in analytical chemistry. Processes for making gun and rocket propellants differ in at least one important respect, namely in the number and size of grain produced. Gun propellant is processes are designed to produce a multitude of relatively small grains. Procedures differ somewhat according to whether the product is a single or double or triple based propellant. On the other hand, the main difference between the two types of engine is the rocket carries its own supply of oxygen for combustion. A jet engines require oxygen for the atmosphere for combustion and so cannot operate in the vacuum of space. Importance of rocket propellants. Propellants are used to produce a gas that can be directed through a nozzle, thereby producing thrust. In rocket, rocket's propellants produce an exhaust and the, exhausted, and the exhausted material is usually expelled under pressure through a nozzle. Standard test method, method for rocket propellant. It, it's concerned about long-term adverse reaction than about inadvertent ignition that may occur at the moment. A sample is violently struck or bent while immersed is a liquid rocket propellant. Functional detail of the rocket. Liquid rocket propellant engine. Used in rocketry can be classified into three types. Petroleum, cyrogens, and hyperjolic. The rocket consists of two tanks, which is oxidizer and fuel tank. It has combustion chamber to burn fuel and oxida oxidizer. It also has fuel injector and nozzle. Solid rocket propellant engine. There are two families of solid propellants, which is homogeneous and composite. These rockets have be have bit of difference comparing with other. It consists casing layer, insulation layer, nozzle, propellant, and igniter. Hybrid rocket propellant engine. The rocket consists of an oxidizer, turbo pump, nozzle, and flow control valve. On the other hand, the chemical equation you see are only a few of the chemicals used to develop these different kinds of the rockets. All thank you.